Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to go over charging uh, LiPo batteries for quadcopters. Uh, one word of caution, uh, can be dangerous, so you need to watch your equipment and set it up in a uh, good spot. Uh, I did have a fire on one of mine. I overcharged the battery. Uh, the voltage uh, wasn't being read correctly in my charger, so it ran it, uh, the charge up on that and it caused a fire and it caused my countertops to get a burnt spot in them. Uh, they were um, uh, wood um, yeah. laminate and uh, now I ended up with uh, granite countertops but I uh, normally charge outside on concrete if I could do it or in the basement in a safe area with nothing close and you need to watch the charging to make sure you don't overcharge anything. Uh, with that said, uh, let's start off with the smaller end, uh, tiny whoops. Uh, tiny whoop like your Mobulus 6 will use uh, these little 1S batteries. Um, these 1S batteries, uh, they will typically with each tiny whoop, they'll give you a little charger like this. Uh, charge one battery at a time. It takes about uh, 30 minutes to charge a battery. You need to plug this into a uh, USB. Uh, char uh, brick uh, to charge. I like using my laptop or my um, um, iPad, my iPad charger, it's a little bit bigger than the phone charger, so it works a little better, especially if you're using a six unit one like this. Uh, but what I really recommend uh, for Tiny Whoops is using a six place uh, charger. These are each individual, so it's not like parallel charging. They all have to be put, plugged in at the same time and in about at the same voltage. These are six individual chargers basically. Um, so I would recommend getting one of these. These are cost anywhere from $10 to uh, 16 or $17. You can normally get them with a deal when you buy uh, your quadcopter. Uh, they, a lot of times I think they'll have a package where if you buy uh, the six batteries with it and they'll throw this in for just a little bit extra cost. That's what I ended up doing with two or three of these. Um, the next step up is um, your tiny um, or your um, toothpicks and twig computers or quadcopters with um, either 2S or 3S batteries. These are fairly small batteries. They vary in size from 300 milliamp hours up to 525 and that would uh, take care of this group of uh, quadcopters you see there. And for that, I kind of like uh, this uh, Charsoon uh, DC 4S uh, battery charger. You can uh, plug a battery in and it tells you what the charge is on the LED here. It says all, all of them. It's 12 and a half volts and then it'll go through 14.17 volts on cell 1, etc. 4.19. Uh, so this is a, it's a nice little battery checker and charger. I'm using a um, 3 amp uh, adapter here and it'll charge one of these batteries in anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, if you had two or three of these you could probably fly almost continuous if you had like eight batteries to start. Um, so that's what I end up doing with these smaller batteries. This is a real easy unit to, to use. Um, although what people are going to now, uh, they're moving up to one of these uh, pocket chargers for these uh, smaller batteries and bigger batteries. Um, so my next set of battery chargers are for standard size, like 3-inch um, and 5-inch quadcopters. Uh, these are some of my batteries for the 3-inch, and then you work up to these 6S batteries for my 5-inch quadcopters. Um, for the three chargers I have here that I've been using, this is my oldest one. I've had it for about three years. Um, it just plugs into the wall, AC current. Uh, it has a transformer in there to get the D DC power out, so you don't need to, uh, to uh, put DC power in like the other two smaller ones there. Uh, so I just plug this into the wall um, and it'll um, charge one battery at a time. I could put it into a uh, parallel charger and do several of them at a time, but I think the output's only six amps. Uh, where this one will put out 14 amps, um, uh, so I, I generally do one battery at a time. I could generally charge a battery in about an hour. Um, so my next one, uh, my other two, this is my next uh, battery charger I bought. Everybody just raves about this. This is the ISDT. I like it. It's a Q6 Plus. 
It's, um, they have newer models of this. Uh, I think the um, the same price now you could get the Q8. It's a little bit larger. It puts, it'll charge a few more batteries at a time. Uh, but uh, this one, uh, like I said, puts out 14 amps of power. It's enough to do four or five batteries at a time on parallel charging, or you could do one at a time. Uh, with these small portable ones, uh, the difference on size is you need a DC uh, input. Uh, the inputs are on this side and the outputs over here. Uh, for input then, you would need either, I'm using a, one of my things is I use a laptop, uh, power supply here uh, from my Toshiba laptop I no longer have um, and you just buy a little um, plug so the adapter plugs into here and it gives you a uh, XT60 coming out which would plug right into the side here and you could just plug your battery in and your balance lead there and it would start charging or you could just plug it into your parallel board and just plug your batteries into the parallel board. Um, the problem with parallel charging is your batteries all have to be the same cell count and they all have to be at about the same voltage level when you plug them in. So generally you'll fly, I, I what I normally do is I fly four batteries at once or one after the other. When I'm done with the four I would plug those uh, all in at one time and then I have a, like eight, eight of these uh, batteries, so I have another four to fly where these are being charged. Typically it would take a half hour to 40 minutes to charge them, depending on how fast, how much current you want to put through. The more current you put through, um, I've heard people will charge your batteries in 20 minutes, but those batteries are not going to last very long. So I like to, uh, batteries are expensive, so I like to um, charge them a little bit slower. Um, half hour to an hour per battery in, in there and you can do four at a time. Uh, but what I'm looking at doing this year is maybe something a little different. Uh, these, this new little toolkit RC, this is a 10 amp charger, this is 14. This was um, list for 30 and I think I bought it for $25. Um, I might just do one battery at a time. Uh, you just plug your uh, DC power supply here and just do one battery at a time. It's capable of doing three, four batteries at a time, but just do, since the cost is not that great, um, just do one battery at a time. It's safer. Uh, you don't have to wait. You could charge it as soon as you're done flying. Uh, the other thing out in the field is I use these uh, like a brick. Um, I bought this at uh, Hobby King, I think it was $50 and free shipping. It was a real steal. It's a 10,000 um, uh, milliamp hour battery. Um, it will charge um, 6S. It will charge uh, about six, anywhere from 6 to 8, depending on how much they're depleted, uh, my race batteries, my 6S batteries. Um, so if I had three of these batteries, three of those, and just charged them one at a time, that would be seven, um, say seven batteries times three would be 21 batteries. Plus if you went out with the full batteries to begin with, if you charged them at home first, the seven batteries, you would have 28 flights, uh, which is quite a bit of flying uh, for one day. Um, so that's what I'm thinking I might do this year. I'll probably divert back to the parallel charging since you do four at a time. But if I have two or three of these, I think I could probably keep up with uh, one battery at a time charging. So anyways, that's my um, systems that I use, and I didn't go into a lot of detail uh, on these. Uh, you can check your voltage of a battery. I forgot to mention that. You can plug this in and plug uh, this. Oh, I guess, okay, for uh, voltage checking, it would go in on this side here. Yeah, it says that's 16.4 um, um, volts. And you can plug this in and it'll tell you what each cell is. So, um, it's a nice little, nice little charger. Um, but anyways, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And uh, this is John from Chicago, and thanks for watching.